Well, hello, Shoreline Church. This is your devotional for Wednesday, August 5th. And we're looking at Psalm 141. And I want you to listen to this psalm. It's a psalm of David. But listen to his passion, his urgency, and the condition of his heart. And you might feel some of these things right now, or at some point along the way, you'll feel this kind of a need to cry out to God. And so just listen to how the psalm begins. I call to you, Lord, come quickly to me. God, hurry, I need you now. You can feel the desperation. Hear me when I call to you. May my prayer be set before you like incense. May the lifting of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. Set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not let my heart be drawn to what is evil, so that I take part in wicked deeds, along with those who are evildoers. Do not let me eat their delicacies. Boy, there's a lot in this psalm, and I encourage you to go on and read the rest of the psalm. But just just in these opening few verses, these opening four verses, there's so much to strike and and kind of hit our hearts and impact our lives. Uh, First, the psalm begins with what what I call kind of deep need and honesty. David, when he talked to God, he didn't hold back. He said, this is my need. This is where I'm at. This is how I feel. I want to encourage you that when you talk to God, be totally honest, be utterly vulnerable because he knows your heart. If you're you're feeling frustrated about something, tell God. If you're fearful, tell God. If you're anxious, tell God. You say, well, the Bible says don't be anxious. I don't want God to, I don't want to just tell him I'm anxious. I don't want to know about what's happening inside of me. He knows. There's something cathartic and powerfully healing about being totally honest with God. So again, listen to how the psalm begins. I call to you, Lord, come quickly to me. Hear me when I call to you. He's saying, God, I need to know that you hear me. Let's talk to God with complete honesty, knowing that he hears us. And and then the second thing is this picture of of lifting of hands. I love these words, may the lifting of my hands be like the evening sacrifice, that our worship, our praise, the lifting of our hands is really a sacrifice of praise and worship to God. Are you lifting your hands, your voice, your heart, your life to God? When we lift our hands, it it, it shouldn't be just some some thing we do. It should be an expression of what's on the inside of us. I think all of our outward expressions in worship should be authentic representations of what's happening internally. So as you lift your heart to God, as you lift your praise to God, as you lift your voice to God, let your hands be lifted and say, God, I praise you, I worship you, I adore you. And and then one more thought. Uh, David moves from his hands to his mouth. And man, if we, if we could control our mouths, the book of James says, if you control your tongue, control your words, you're a mature person. In, in the English, we translate it perfect, but the word perfect there really means a deeply mature person. I would be more mature if I could control everything I say. Sometimes I can't. I've learned through the years, I've gotten better at it, but listen to these words, listen to this cry to God from David. Set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. He says, God, guard what I say. Guard what comes out of this this little part of my body. Guard what is said by this slippery little pink tongue of ours because most of the the harm and the pain and the struggle of our life, most of it could be avoided if we could guard what we say and if other people could keep their mouths closed and guard what they say. So much of the struggles in life are words that are spoken. Think Think about the vitriol and the conflict in our culture right now. How much of it is about words? And so could we pray, God, guard my mouth, guard the door of my lips. God, give me the maturity to speak words that honor you. As you walk into this week, I want to say a prayer for you. Uh, First, I want to give you a couple of words of invitation, and then I want to pray as we continue on into this week. Here's a couple of encouragements. Go on the Shoreline website, click on the, the kind of the mustard yellow tile box that says the good neighbor. And if you're not doing it already, walk through that six-step process and start praying for, serving, loving your neighbors and shining the light of Jesus. I want to encourage you to take that step because your neighbors need the encouragement that God can bring through you. And then also, tonight is night of worship. So I want to encourage you to make time at 6.15 tonight. That's 6.15 uh, in California time. But 6.15 tonight to open the Word of God, to share communion, get you the items to get ready for communion and to be in fellowship with God's people. And then finally, our Sunday services. We have a number of things going on on Sunday mornings coming up. So this coming Sunday, three services online, 8.30, 10, 11.30, that hasn't changed. Two services on campus in the courtyard at nine o'clock and 11. And something new 
on campus a drive-in service. So at 9 and 11, while we're doing the courtyard service, we've got some spots in the drive-in area that are designated. You can go online and register for a parking spot. If you're not quite ready to be in a chair in the courtyard, but you want to come and worship in your car, I encourage you to do that. Might, that might be the next step to reconnecting with God's people. So let me pray for you that the words of Psalm 141 and the power of the Spirit would guide you today. God, we pray that you would help us passionately and honestly talk to you about whatever's on our hearts. We pray that our worship of you would be authentic and from the depths of our souls to our hands lifted high, to our lives lifted, to our voices lifted, that you would be exalted and glorified. And God, we pray that you will, that you will draw near to us in everything we do and in everything we say. May our words honor you. May we guard our lips. May you help us guard our lips so that we would not harm or hurt, but instead we would bless and build up those around us. Lead us through the rest of this week. Help us stand close to you, walk in your presence. And we look forward this evening and on Sunday to gathering with your people uh, online in some cases, face-to-face uh, -face in others, but glorifying you as your people together. Guide us through this week, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day.